Next essential piece of biochem lab equipment is the PCR machine or thermocycler. So as the name suggests, this is a device that basically can cycle between different temperatures and it allows you to uh, amplify DNA. So you can go from basically very small quantities to really large quantities that are useful in experiments. Um, and basic principle is it'll cycle between 98 degrees C, and that's the denaturing temperature. It allows you to split the double-stranded DNA into two single strands. Then you have the 55 to 60 C range, um, which is dependent on the, the primers that you're using, but this is the temperature at which uh, your primers, which define the kind of specific region of DNA you want to amplify, uh, will anneal. Um, and this allows the polymerase, which actually copies the DNA, to then bind and you can then extend at 72C and you get basically two copies for each cycle that you do from your one original copy. And if you run this, say, 30 times or so, then you'll have two to the 30th copies from what you started. Um, so you can pretty rapidly um, get really large numbers of, of DNA that you need, and it's a very useful technique. So now that you know some of the really basic principles of how the PCR machine works, and I'll go ahead and show you two examples of PCR machines actually. Um, so left, the PTC100, uh, this is probably the cheapest uh, PCR machine that you can get in the DIY market, just from eBay, things like that. Probably around $100. The thing is, these are going to be used, and for example, this one, I had to add on a fan to allow it to actually work without overheating, so you may counter issues and things like that with these. Um, but they do the job. Um, you can load in your, your samples up top here. Uh, these devices don't come with heated lids, so you'll have to add oil to the top of them so that the samples don't basically boil away. Um, but that's expected for any of the cheap devices that you'll get. The more interesting device is actually this one over here. So this, believe it or not, is also a PCR machine. It's just a fraction of the size and weight of a normal PCR machine um, and in you know the DIY kind of biohacker space you really don't typically need to run too many samples so this one will just run five but that's probably plenty for most applications you can see here there's the screen there's a little dial to control your device so if you just go into setup here for example you can see those temperatures we were talking about um, in this case, you've got the 94C for the denaturing temperature, and then 55 in this case is set up for the, the primers, and again 72 for the extension, and you can see the different times at the bottom here, so there's an initial denature uh, just to make sure that everything is single-stranded initially, and then two minutes for the nature 80 seconds for the annealing 40 seconds for extension these will change depending on you know your actual experiment uh, typically you'll change the extension time and it's about 30 seconds per kilobase typically depends on your uh, polymerase in specifically but that's a good number to go off of and so you know once you go through all this you're happy with setup, the number of cycles, in this case it's set to 25, just say cancel in this case, but you can just go ahead and run your PCR, and it goes, and yeah, like I said, this is really kind of a cool piece of technology from Gaudi Labs, Pocket PCR, um, I think they've done pretty pretty cool thing here. Um, definitely 
help to democratize the biochem space. And this device, new, is the same price as this device used. Uh, it's just a hundred bucks and you can pretty much be guaranteed that it'll work <laughs> out of the, the box. You do have to solder, I think, one or two components to, to set it up, but that's pretty simple um, and even beginners can do that. So definitely recommend checking out this device.